Since its origin in 1895, chiropractic has met opposition from the medical establishment. Although chiropractic became a legalized profession, it was in an undeclared war with medical associations. Many in chiropractic felt helpless to make any resistance. That was until one chiropractor spoke out. Chester Wilk long felt the American Medical Association was conducting a conspiracy against chiropractic. He couldn't have his patients x-rayed in hospitals on machines paid for with public funds. The American College of Radiology refused medical doctors from helping chiropractors make differential diagnoses. In the interest and care of his patients, he could not consult with MDs. He stated, instead, I must transfer the patient, which means the end of chiropractic treatment. If I transfer the patient, I have forsaken him, deserted him, chiropractically. Wilk's suspicion of a conspiracy proved to be correct. Documents were dispersed to newspapers pointing to corruption by the AMA. The person behind the leak was identified only as sore throat. He claimed to be an AMA staffer, but in reality, worked for the Church of Scientology, whom the AMA also targeted. Documents revealed a secret organization within the AMA, the Committee on Quackery, proving the AMA was working to stop every effort to improve chiropractic. This included federal funding for research, loans for students, and reimbursement for Medicare. Wilkes case was filed October 12, 1976. For lawyer George McAndrews, the case was personal. His father had been a chiropractor. His brother, Jerome, was president of the Palmer College of Chiropractic. In 1987, Wilk and his fellow DCs defeated the AMA and a who's who of the medical world. After a 14-year court battle in 1990, the Supreme Court upheld a lower court ruling that confirmed Wilkes' claim of a conspiracy and an unreasonable restraint of trade in violation of the Sherman Act. Judge Getzendander ordered that chiropractors be allowed to make referrals to MDs, and the AMA published the change in the Journal of the American Medical Association's Policy. Wilk vs. the AMA was a landmark case that opened doors for many chiropractors. This included a collaboration with medical doctors on patient care and research. Chiropractors teaching and conducting research in allopathic institutions and medical doctors teaching in chiropractic institutions. A chiropractor now serves on the AMA panel of reimbursement. Chester Wilk drew a line in the sand in the face of opposition from organized chiropractic and medicine. In what was truly a David and Goliath story, Wilk won a seemingly impossible battle and scored a major victory for chiropractic and its patients.